Guys, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? We're here. We're doing something new today. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Man, it's gonna be weird, right? Let's go to Mars. I don't think Mars is in this game. It might be in this game. Hi, know. Sips. Hey. Today you're going to put many more dicks in orbit than rockets. Godspeed, chat. Yeah. God, my heart goes out to you today, chat. It's gonna be a rough one. Thanks, Eseb. Appreciate it. Uh, tri trial. Thanks for the two months. Dawi, welcome back. Holy shit, haven't seen you in a while. Thirty-three months, baby. Thanks so much. Uh, the Wallace. Thanks for three months. Castaras Kielde. Thanks for the eight months. Welcome back. Uh, Tomkin Sunner. Thanks so much for the sub. Harompo. Thanks for the eleven months. El Buki Sir. Thanks for the sixteen months. The Tiny Rick. Thanks for the bits. Froxy. Thanks for the fifteen months as well. I appreciate it. Holy yeah, I shit, finished Skyrim. Yeah. I finally caught your stream on time because I couldn't sleep. Kiss moi. Oh, Officer Cop, thanks so much as well for the bits. Yeah, we finished Skyrim. Well, we we we, I, we finished all the personal goals that I set out for myself in Skyrim. It was it was nice. It was good to like. I don't know if you guys ever do this, but you like you 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 think you like. I want to I want to finish this or I want to do this, and then you set out to do it and you do it and it's very satisfying. So we did everything that we set out to do in Skyrim. We did a, a, that and more actually. I think we we did a lot a heck of a lot of stuff in Skyrim. Um, and we're done now. The trophy room was completed, Blackthorn was completed, except we didn't finish a couple of the showers. We got all the masks, we did all the, like the main guild quests, we bought a lot of houses and stuff. We saw pretty much all there is to see in Skyrim, I would say. Um, so now it's time for a new adventure, it's time for a new challenge. So we're gonna play some, um, Kerbal Space Program. We're gonna try to make a space station, which is not going to be easy, okay? And I'm not very good at this game. You've probably seen me play it previously, and it's going to be bad. Before we start, there's a couple of things, okay? Get us good first. Okay. No pink gems. No, we didn't finish the pink gems either. That's true, actually. Uh, Plipette, thanks so much for the bits as well. I hope you and Plips are good. Hey, old Sipsy, you're one of a kind. Can you name one of your magnificent builds the Plipperoni, please? <laughs> which, yeah, that, I will definitely do that. Thanks, Plipette. A uh, non-theist we yeast. Thanks for the seven months as well. Listen, there's a couple of things that we need to like cover before we start playing this game. Um, am I allowed to re like restart launches if they go bad? Because like I feel like if I don't and we lose stuff and we lose a lot of money, it's just gonna go terrible. But or is that like the the proper way to play it? Because in real life. You know, if they launch something and they haven't done the proper planning or whatever and it blows up, well, that's, it's tough, right? There's no restarting. Okay. Permadeath. Okay, yes. I see lots of yeses. I see a couple of noes. But only after we see the crash. Okay. Okay, that's good. We'll, we'll look at... Yes, this is real life. Yes, it's part of the game. Doing the story. Well, well we're going to do the campaign, I think. Because it just... It'll ease us in and get us used to, like, the stuff, right? Just play science mode. I don't want to play like sandbox or science mode. I need I need to be gently eased in. I can't just start off with everything and a ton of money because I'll get nowhere fast, right? Please play science mode. I don't even know what science mode is actually. Let's see what science mode is. Start new. Training. Scenarios. About making history expansion. I've, I've read some mixed things about this making history expansion. Apparently it's not that great. Start new. Start new. Sandbox? San sandbox? Sandbox is like everything. Science? In science mode, you must gather scientific data to research new technologies. Funds and reputation are disabled and contracts are not available. See, I don't really want to... I want to have contracts and stuff. You have to manage all aspects of your space program. I feel like I want to do career. Funds, reputation and science are all active and contracts are available at Mission Control. I think I'm going to play career. I think I would prefer to to play career. It's like sandbox of money. Okay. I didn't read your Reddit post. I did, Zane. I think I, I think I read it, yeah. About uh, turning like off certain things and turning on certain things. I mean, do we have to do that before we start or can I just do it like any time? I'm, I'm happy just like playing with the game defaults and then like chopping and changing stuff to suit as we go sort of thing. It's not fun for a first time, okay? I mean, I have played this before, but it was a while ago, and I don't remember any of it. Like, last time we played, we managed to get something in orbit. And I kind of, sort of, I think, remember how to... We had to, like, fly at, at like, at an angle, 
and ease ourselves into orbit, right? It wasn't just a case of flying straight up and then like turning around and getting into orbit. We had to like, it was like a more like a like Hello, a angular that. thing. Tis I, oh? the best man. Skyrim was one of the best adventures myself and chat has been on and I'm very grateful for it. Oh, thanks. Thank you for everything you do and making me happy. Oh, thanks. Maybe name a Kerbal Nought after me. Bat damn hug, hug, five, five, kiss, four. kiss. God damn, thanks Bat so much, Dan man. Batdan554. Thanks, Batdan554. 554. Anonymous Gay Dinosaur, thanks for the sub, too. Can you get a my dick into orbit? I'm sure I can, actually. Should I tweet Elon Musk for tips? He might know, actually. I have to do something at an angle. Okay, is that... The physics have changed since I last played. Right, okay. So, um, please know about turning for orbit. No, I don't really know about that. I'm no expert, but I can help, okay. I'm glad we have a whole bunch of non-experts hey, in chat that can help. This is going to go really well. How are well. those new windows working out? Man. Cheers. Salmon on crew. They're working out pretty good, actually. Like, they're nice. They are all greased up. They're smooth to open and close. They're, 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 they're double glazed. They keep out all the noise. They keep in all the heat and stuff. No complaints on this side. Really, really good. It's called a gravity turn. Okay, sure. This is going to be a real dick ripper. Okay. It's going to be painful. It probably is going to be painful, but we'll get there eventually. It'll take some time. All right. Save save name. Let's call this one... Um, what what are we going to call our space program? Let's call it the Rice Aroni. Rice Aroni Space Program. Okay. Program. Okay, the Rice Aroni Space Program. And it's a career as well. Difficulty options normal. I think that that's probably fine. We can pick a flag. We want to have like a nice... Is there any sort of like rice themed flags here for our space program? We need to... Can we like put in our own? No, we can't. Okay, we have to find something that looks... That looks the part. Curlington. Maxo. What's all this crap? Strutco. Do we want Strutco? We want something that we can be proud of. When we get a flag flapping away, well, it won't flap in space, right? When we get a flag sort of like looking like a, like a wooden plank in space, let's go for the NASA. Let's go NASA. That'll look nice, right? We can put our logo on everything. The Rice Aroni Space Program. All right, let's start. We'll do it, no? You can put in your own flag. At the top right. Oh, shit. Is it too late now? Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. Okay, we all we know about all this. You can right-click over the Space Center facilities to view more information about them and left-click when you're ready to head inside. Okay, we can upgrade all this stuff too, right? This is just like the Babby one for now. But we can actually upgrade like the runway, the launch platform and all that stuff, right? We can do all of that stuff. Tracking station. Mission control is the one we want to go to. Okay. Which one do we want to do first? Gather scientific data from Kerbin. We have to recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Okay, that should be a pretty easy one, right? Let's take this one. And launch our first vessel as well. Launch your first vessel off of the launch pad or the runway to achieve this goal. Okay, let's do this one as well. We'll escape the atmosphere and orbit Kerbin later, okay? We're not quite ready for all that stuff just yet. Look at these guys. It's like, it's like the Muppet Show, but a space program. Okay, good. Are we good with this now? Kerbal career... Mode is pretty hardcore to start with. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We can always... Didn't I dock a spaceship on a YouTube Let's Play years ago? No, I never did. I never docked a spaceship. I think you're thinking of somebody else, maybe. Possibly. It was not me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. And let's let's build our first rocket then. Can I have a look around with... Uh, okay, got it. This stuff I kind of remember. All right, so we're gonna need an engine. We're gonna need an RT5 flea solid fuel booster. Perfect. Okay, we're off to a great start. We're also going to need for this, um, do 
we need some flaps? Probably not, right? We don't really have any of the stuff we need. We're gonna need this mystery goo containment unit. And probably a parachute as well. Okay, let's put a command pod on here. Oh look, it's got our logo on it already. It's pretty nice actually. Look, we can zoom in and see. Beautiful. Okay. Let's shove a parachute on here. And let's get the mystery goo containment unit. Not on the... Let's put it here. Right on the capsule, okay? We're gonna take a scientific reading while we're, we're up there, right? Okay, and we're gonna need to also add one of these as well. So that'll be the first thing and then once it... Oh, we're gonna need like a coupler as well, right? Or can we just land with this? Will it blow up? We don't have couplers yet. Launch. Get one on the launch pad too. Can you do that? You think the face cam placement should be different in this game? Oh yeah, I'm kind of in the way of stuff, aren't I? Where should I put myself? Like here? How's that? Is that better? Okay, we'll try it like that. Do readings on the launch pad before launch. You can do that? God, okay, that's pretty good. All right, our crew for this one is going to be, who do we want to send up on this one? Bob Kerman, the scientist. We need a pilot though, right? Okay. Let's send Jebediah up on this one. Okay, he's ready. And then let's call this one... We'll call this one Lil Riceroni. One. <laughs> okay. This is the first first rocket we ever From we ever made. I understand you want to make your ship look like a penis Baby. so it can penetrate the atmosphere. I've never played this game but I know exactly what I'm talking about. No, also, any EU force dream in our future? Oh, maybe, turning yeah. the battleship. Turning the battleship. Yeah, thanks Blunt Dragon. Thanks. I'll take all of your advice. I'll take any advice actually. Okay. And you can we can we can say like we can limit the thrust and we can like put less fuel in this thing as well. I think we want to like go all out though. I think we want to just send this thing up and then we want to um, use up all the fuel, take a reading in the air, and then just gently parachute back down, right? When it's safe to do so, yeah? We're launching this rocket to Sovereign Guard. Am I liking EU4? Yeah, I am actually, Dowie. I've been playing it in the evenings. It's uh, it's good. I, I'm terrible at it, but it is it is good fun. I had a game recently where um, I, I had a personal union with France. <laughs> They sat around and they did nothing the whole time, except uh, they maintained a, a healthy 100% liberty desire. This went on for well over 50 years. Um, I couldn't integrate them because they had 100% liber liberty desire. Uh, and then they waited until uh, somebody else went to war with me. Portugal, I was playing Castile. Portugal went to war with me and I took over most of Portugal. And then France decided that that was going to be their chance to gain independence, and then they fucked me hard. It was pretty good. It was good. Do an EBA report at your parapsis. Okay, I don't know what that means. I I, 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 tip, I, I don't know what that actually means, but we're, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, let's go. We're ready to launch. We're ready to launch Little Rice Aroni One, our our maiden voyage into the air. We're testing out this solid fuel booster. We have to get some research points so that we can tech up, right? Is that it? Oh my god. Guys. I don't even think we... So what are you guys saying? I can just open this thing right now? I can observe the goo right now and I'll get points? Or should I do a launch because it's a, like a bit more fun? It's probably a little bit more fun, right? Okay, let's put the SAS on and... Let's, let's go. Nice. We did it. Let's observe the goo. All right. Let's keep this experiment, okay? And let's wait for it to be safe. And then we will, we'll land. Okay, we've, we've made some good, 
We made we made some good distance from the ground here this time. I don't think we're gonna quite get into orbit like this. We're just gonna have to wait until we start dropping down again. Well, Jebediah's gotta survive. Maybe we should have gone off to the side and landed in the ocean. Because I think if we land on the ground, it's going to blow up, right? Oh, do a barrel roll? Crew report. How do I do a crew report? React. Oh, crew report. Oh, nice. Okay, let's keep this experiment as well. Let's turn on the lights. No, let's not. Tog rename the vessel. Control from here. Transfer the crew. Review report. Reaction wheels? Are we are we okay to deploy the chute now? I hope that that's okay. I hope that the chute doesn't just come flying off. Okay. Crew report complete. I think we should have gone and landed in the sea. Because I have a feeling that this thing's just going to blow up. Maybe Jebediah will die. Maybe not, though. You know what we need to make? We need to make, like, the Falcon Heavy things. You know, like, the, the boosters that land back down on the ground? That's what we got to do. Can we do, like, a spacewalk? No. I don't think we can just yet. No? It's fine. Once I land, I can get out and do an EVA report. Is that going to give me like just tons of extra, extra stuff that I need? I could have, but it's risky. I have to level up. Yeah, I know. I need to level up to get all the cool parts and stuff, right? That went surprisingly well, actually. That that was a that was a good one. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now I can get out, right? I can get him out. How do I do it? Transfer crew. Wheel, wheel authority? What is all this stuff, guys? Crew report. Rename vessel. Transfer crew. How do I get out and walk around? Hover over, hover over his face. Oh, okay. Okay, let's take some data out here. We can, we can climb out and board. Whoops. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not dead. Oh, you can actually walk around. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Okay, what was it to board again? Okay, he's going to walk around. And the goo and stuff has been done. Okay, let's get back on here. Oh, this is great, actually. Okay, how do you climb on? He can, he can jump. Oh, shit, he just keeps falling down, though. Am I okay to just end now? I can't get to the ladder. Oh, right, okay. I can't get back on. That's fine. That's fine. Is he going to be MIA now? Or do I have to, like, walk him back to the... I mean, it's just right over here, right? <laughs> no? Flag. I can put a flag down? Hang on, how? No, I can't. There's no flag here. He's got some propellant and stuff. I, d I didn't bring a flag with me, I don't think. Or did I? He's pretty cute, isn't he? He's nice, right? You're good? He doesn't have it yet. Okay. He can be recovered. Okay. How do we do this? Revert flight space center. Do I have to go to the tracking station to do it? What? How do I do it from here? Is there like a button or something? Contract complete. We did it. We got all of our contracts completed. Launch our first vessel. What? Hey, hang on a second. We didn't gather the scientific data though. What's this note? Recover or transmit. Okay, when it's done, it's going to be Move fine, the right? mouse to the top middle of the screen to recover vessel. This sends you back with all your science. Ah, okay. Also, you Sorry, can only see, do see, this when a spaceship is safely on the ground. Right, okay, Jacob, thanks. Okay, so I can recover vessel now. I didn't realize that there was a little button hidden in there. Okay, so we got 2.4 science from the EVA report. And we got five science from recovering recovery of a vessel that survived a flight. 
17 science altogether. We, we earned 7.4 science. That's pretty good, actually. Good stuff. We got some, we've got a total of 20 reputation. We didn't gain any reputation, but Jebediah gained 1 XP. Lil Riceroni 1 is still out here, though. Fly, recover. Okay, good. We recovered it as well, right? So now we're up to 28 science. Good. We have 112,877 bucks. Done. Man, Lil Riceroni 1 did a great job, right? That's good. Right? Sipsex is better? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, yeah, I got the ship. Alright, so research and development now. We have some things that we can spend. Do we want basic rocketry or engineering? Engineering leads to survivability, stability, and rocketry leads to general rocketry, advanced rocketry, heavy rocketry. I like the sound of that. Basic science, flight control. I feel like we want to go down engineering first, right? Because it'll make it so that we can gather more science, or is it better to go rocketry? Do both. All right, okay. I want more science stuff. Well, I can afford to get both, so... Okay, let's research Engineering 101. And let's get basic rocketry as well. This is going to unlock the Swivel liquid fuel engine, the RT-10 hammer, and the FLT-100 fuel tank. This is the one... It's a liquid fuel tank, so it's for this thing, right? For the for the swivel okay let's research this as well and then how much do we have left 18.7 so we could spend some survivability is going to give us heat shields uh, a presmat barometer a radiator panel an lto5 micro landing strut that seems kind of cool actually a uh, radial mount drogue shoot I don't know what that is. And a radial mount parachute. Oh, it's a it's one of the it's it's like a side parachute instead of like the nose one. And a service bay. What's this? A heat resistant service bay, ideal for protecting delicate instruments or stowing small service components such as an RCS tanks, batteries, etc. Do we need any of that stuff? General rocketry we can't even afford, but that's going to give us the reliant liquid fuel engine. The Thumper, which is the big boy, and um, another liquid fuel tank as well, right? Parachutes. We need the RCS one. This is a lovely addition to Blackthorn. Yeah, it is really, it's really good, isn't it? I need all these things. Okay, well, let's go for this, I guess, then. Let's get this so that we can get this extra stuff. This extra science stuff. The heat shield will probably be pretty good, right? A tiny structural heat shield. Okay, let's research this. Nice. Flight control and basic science. What do we get from basic science? A pro a probo do de do benign stay putnik. It offers the ultimate solution in crew safety. A lightweight sphere equipped with remote receivers and relay control input from the ground to the craft. Okay. And there's a Z100 rechargeable battery pack. What do we need batteries for? Holds two AAAA batteries and holds a maximum 100 units of charge. What's the Science Junior? Self-contained lab. Oh, cool. This is all stuff that we're going to need for the space station eventually, right? It's going to cost 45 to research that. Flight control is 45 as well. That's going to give us winglets and a small inline reaction wheel. I don't know what that does at all, actually. No. Stuff that requires power. Oh, it's for my Game Boy. Right, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. All right. So we've scienced up. We can also upgrade these buildings eventually too, right? When we have some money. We have like 112 bucks right now. Do we want to like upgrade our mission control or something? 75 grand. We can get more active contracts. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Conduct a focus observational survey of Kerbin. Take a crew report in flight above 19,300 meters near engineer's pitfall. Is that like a, we need a plane for that? We can't just like, we can't just launch up. We can upgrade the launch pad. How much does that cost? Oh, 50,000 bucks. Okay, let's upgrade it. That's a good idea. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a beauty now. 
Blue Rice Aroni one. It's almost ready to go again. Four parts in two stages. We might need to like we might need to change Lil Rice Aroni one now that we have some like new stuff. That launch pad looks great. The next one is two hundred and eighty two thousand to upgrade it. Okay. Mission control. Oh look, we got this one's changed around. Conduct a focus observational survey. Um haul a a Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 3,000 to 11,000 meters. We have to be going at a certain speed as well. And we have to have the Mark 16 parachute with us. Is this a pretty easy one to do? No? This game is so complex. It is a little bit, actually. Yeah, and before Sip spends all his money on upgrades and can't afford a rocket. No, no, we have, we have tons left. It's fine. No? Do the escape atmosphere and orbit curve it once. Escape the atmosphere. I don't know if we have the power to get out of the atmosphere though. We have to be going oh 70,000 meters. That's it's pretty high up. How far how high up did we make it last time with the with the with the little rice aroni one? We made it quite high, didn't we? We made it quite high. But are we good do we need um if we go up too high, though, we're gonna need liquid fuel to um, to push ourselves back down, right? No? Am I gonna launch my car into orbit? Yeah, I should. Yeah, should be pretty easy to skate with a bigger solid rocket. Okay, sure. I can use little rice aroni for the hull Mark 16 parachute. All right, fuck it. Let's try it. I always struggle with these ones. I, I can never get like all the things uh, at once for some reason. Like, like I, I'm always like not going fast enough when I'm in the right uh, altitude range, or like I'm going fast enough, but I'm like completely out of, you know what I mean? Like I, I can never get it. So let's try it. We're gonna haul the Mark 16 parachute into flight above Ker Kerbin. And let's try to find something else. Like we can haul the RT5 flea solid fuel booster into flight above Kerbin as well. It's almost the same as the last one. But the speed is much higher. We have to be going 250 meters per second. Is that possible to do the, both of these at the same time? Solid rocket don't help you get higher, only heavier payloads. Yeah, all the criteria on those things are pretty irritating. Yeah, I can never do them. No, missions where you rest equipment are pretty good. Okay, one or two solid rockets will get you into 70,000 kilometers you only really need liquid when you are in space just do one at a time okay if your alt is that high you should be going at that kind of speed do the escape atmosphere one you'll complete many world records along the way and get so much money oh i like the sound of that actually let's try to do this this one first though let's 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 just work on one at a time we'll just take it easy right we got all the time in the world to do this we're gonna take it easy and work on one at a time okay we're gonna get the Mark 16 parachute equipped on Lil Rice Aroni 1. Currently, we have a Mark 1 Command pod. This is the Mark 16 parachute. Or the MK 16. I don't, I don't know. The MK 16 parachute might be considered by some to be a little more than a random stitching together of the surplus parts it is, in fact, made from. The fact remains that the MK 16 has been widely accepted as a generally better alternative to being in freefall. There's pro there's probably that about it. Do we need to do like any um, any science while we're up here? Like, should we take uh, like a too hot thermometer? It's definitely not a store bought model with some wires stuck to it. Warranty void. So we can we can we use this and take like a temperature reading while we're um, while we're up here? Is that a good idea for some more science? I didn't accept the contract. Yeah, I'm sure I did, you know. I'm, I'm sure I, I, I'm sure I accepted that one. I think I have it. Where can I see the contracts? Yeah, hold the mark, the MK, is it mark or MK16, does it matter? Hold this parachute anyway, into flight above Kerbin. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. So now the next question is, do we put a too hot thermometer on this bad boy and take a reading? Yeah, always gotta bring that science. No? Maybe? Yeah, and the launch pad too. MK is an abbreviation for Mark. 
Mark Turpin 16. Okay, fine. Let's put a, let's put a two hot thermometer on here. Do we want this a barometer as well? A device for measuring the local atmospheric pressure, warranty void if exposed to air. Ha ha. Ha ha. That's hilarious. Okay, let's put this bad boy on here as well. We're going to get our command our command pod equipped with all of the best stuff. Okay, little rice aroni 1. Point 1. Okay. This is this is sorta the first rocket we ever made okay good nice mission flag yes we'll take this mission flag okay let's pick okay jebediah can do this one again and let's go for a launch nice wait a second did i screw up all of the um did i screw up all the things oh no i didn't it's fine okay perfect all right, so this time we're going to we're going to hold this parachute up and try to achieve this, right? This contract. Good. So we have to be flying. We have to have an altitude of 3000 to 11000 meters and we have to have a speed between 10 uh, meters per second to 130 meters per second to do it. And then we'll land safely. And while we're up in the sky, fallen back down we'll take some readings from all of our stuff here as well right we'll do the mystery goo again even though we've already done it actually you know what maybe we can observe the mystery goo on the ground we, we can recover three science from this ground experiment that we've done okay let's keep this experiment now let's um let's just leave it open like that as well does that count are you allowed to do that that's what you said. That's like totally a waste. Where's the new parachutes on there? It's not a new parachute, it's the old one. Recover now. No, no, I wanna do everything. I wanna do everything, okay. Let's put on this SAS thing and let's, let's go. Hey Sips, I've watched your content for years. Have a big cup of tea on me. Oh, Less thanks, than man. three. Thanks to Surun. I appreciate it. Okay, are we going fast enough? I don't think we're going fast enough. Look, see? See what I mean? I can I can get one, but I, I can never get like the other one for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, let's take let's log the temperature here. Good. That's some good science. Let's also log the pressure data here. Nice. That's also some good science. Good. Ah! Oh, I did it! Oh boys, we did it. That's all, it, all that's all we had to do. Just the exact same thing again, but we took some more logs this time. Ah, fuck, that's great. Holy shit. I think that's the way you gotta play this game. You just gotta take slow and steady wins the race, right? It's just like that elephant Care Bear used to always say in the Care Bears. Slow, they'd always have a race and there'd always be like the rabbit Care Bear would always be like wanting to go super fast. And then every other Care Bear was like, no, no, we don't want to go that fast. And then the elephant care bear was always like, I'm just going to go slow as fuck. But he always did it. He always won the race in the end. Because the, the rabbit care bear was too full of his own... Too spunky, I think. He was just too spunky. No. Like science achieved. Why was I watching the care bears? Well, I mean, I was like nine years old at the time. I watched the care bears in the morning before I went to school every day. It used to be on, like, at the right time, so we would just watch it. Oh, shit, we're coming in fast here. Holy crap. Okay, luckily the chute deployed. Okay, we should be good here, actually. We should be fine. We, I don't think we need to do another EVA. We'll, we'll do an EVA when we get into orbit, right? We'll get Jeb out. We'll get him to do a little little dance on the on the thing and, you know, log his experience there and stuff as well. And then we'll get even more science. Man, Care Bears suck? What are you talking about? It the do the Care Bear countdown. Now blow a wish out in the air. Now blow a wish out in the air. They've redone Care Bears. They've rebooted it and it's all like CGI and stuff now. It's not the same. It, it, it has definitely lost its charms. Okay, we've done it. We hauled the Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. Complete. Let's recover.
And we did a whole bunch of science while we were up there as well. We got all the instrumentation. Look at that. 17.1 science earned. Lil Riceroni 1.1. Mission success. Good. We have we have more funds as well. Look. We, no XP gain for Jeb though. He did not gain any XP that time, sadly. Man, we're, it's, we're just winning. I think you need to upgrade the astronaut complex to do space EVAs. All right, okay. 23 science. That's not bad, right? That's not bad. Okay, let's go to research and development. And with our new newly found 23.9 science, we can go into general rocketry if we want to. This is going to give us this bad boy, the Thumper Solid Fuel Booster. That one's going to help us. I think even just one of those is going to help us escape the atmosphere. No problem, right? No? Get the unlocks. Make the progress. Profit. So if we if we, if we we strap one of these bad boys on to... It's not going to be little rice roni anymore, though. If we put one of these bad boys on, it's going to be a big old rice roni No? So far, so good? Okay, good. I, see, I have played this before. I just when when we get into the more complex stuff, that's where it's gonna be terrible. No, one of those is going to make you go pretty damn high if you just go a command pod. Yeah, okay. You need to upgrade the astronaut recruitment building to be able to EVAs in space. All right, I'll do that as well. A big rice aroni. What's the longest rice? Basmati? Man, I have no idea actually. Captain Uso, I I'd have to look it up. I really don't know. So are we gonna do this? More boosters. Okay, so we're going to research this because it's a good one, right? We'll get the fuel tanks and stuff. This is going to help us get out of the uh, atmosphere, right? There are different biomes for science Sips. doing. All right. The Curse of Monkey Island is on Steam. No I know way. the first two were your favorites, but Monkey Island 3 was the first PC game I ever played and what got me into gaming 20 years ago. Would love to see you play it. Yeah. Much love, man. Monkey Island 3 I've not played in a while and it's very good. I, it was, the first two are great. Really good. Uh, but 3 is pretty fucking good too. We could, if it's on Steam, we'll get it. We'll play it for sure, Wadzilla. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Just add more rockets. Suborbital Jeff. What? I don't know what that means. Flight Engineer mod can help you plan stages better later down the line. Okay. There's a Flight Engineer mod? Okay. We'll have to maybe look into that. All right. Let's research this. We'll get the big the big old thumper. We'll get the big old thumper. Let's go to mission control. Wait, actually, before we go to mission control, do we want to upgrade our uh, astronaut complex? It's going to cost 75,000 bucks. The only thing is, though, is that we I think we have like 90,000 bucks, maybe? Where does it show me my money? Show me the money. Where's where's the where's the accountancy department? Where's the accounts department? That's what we need to see. World first milestones. The recent accomplishments of our space program have attracted contributions from numerous organizations. Nice. What? If you say stay with the top middle. Oh shit, yes, yeah, right there. Whoops, I'm blind. So we have 95,000 bucks. There's an administration building here. We could do a fundraising campaign takes 5% reputation gains and, and yields us a uh, 1,000 funds for each one unit of reputation. I don't understand that. Maybe we shouldn't do that one. Maybe it's too much. The space plane hangar allows construction of spacecraft designed to be launched from the runway. I think that's too complex for me as well. R&D we can upgrade, but it's going to cost us 451,000 big ones. Astronaut complex. How much does it cost, like, for instance, how much does it cost to get the rice aroni in space? 3,000 bucks. I think we could upgrade the astronaut complex and still get into, into space. And then we can do an EVA while we're, like, out of the atmosphere. Would that be good? There's a lunch thief. If you try for the atmosphere, you'll get more records for sure. Okay, we'll do that. We'll try to do that about tree fitty it doesn't seem like a lot of money but i guess it's it's only like one booster and like a, a command pot i think you're too too broke no with that rocket no oh, but, but hey, with Sips. the thumper though thanks how much does for the all cost? the great and mediocre entertainment you've provided over the years you've also encouraged me to learn Sorry. programming 
It's only 800 bucks. If someone as dumb as you can get a job as a programmer, so can I much love. I remain Vic Zero. Vic Zero, thanks so much, man. You're right. If somebody as dumb as me can get a job, so can you, man. You, you'll you'll be fine. I'm sure that you'll um I'm sure that you'll excel at being dumb at your job as well. Um, if you get mods, KS and KAS are good. And Kerbal Attachment System, both are essential to make your space station the way you want. Do I actually need mods for a space station? Fuck. I don't want to get mods for a space station. Why would I need to get mods for a space station? I should be able to just do it in the base game, right? Am I planning on playing a way out? Oh. Okay, I don't need mods. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. Alright, so this is only 850 bucks for this thumper. But I but maybe you guys are right. Maybe it'll take us like too high. Maybe this hammer. Will this hammer get us out? Found lying by the side of the road. It's widely used in many spacecraft programs. Whenever the need to save cash is greater than the need to keep astronauts alive. This one costs 400 bucks. This one costs 850. I don't think we need like too many boosters just to escape the atmosphere, right? Thick hammer will probably do it. Okay, well we can try it. We can do like a test, right? We can replace this other one. So how do I do this now? Can I just replace this? Parent. Is that fine? Do we need a decoupler? I don't even think I have them yet. Coupling. Oh yeah, I have a TD-12 decoupler. It's equipped with a hopefully small explosive charge that will sever the structural linkage between itself and whatever it's connected to. I feel like we don't want to land back down here with a hammer, right? Whoops, I meant to cheer 1000 on my last one anyway. <laughs> I'm flying out of Charleston, South Carolina today headed home from spring break with the fam. What nice. do you guys have planned for spring break? Love uh, your dad. What, are, what am I doing for spring break? Man, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing for spring break. I, I think I'm going to see my parents. I'm going to see my parents. Yeah, we're taking the kids to meet my parents in the UK over spring break. I haven't seen them for like a while actually. Thanks Carrot Discs, I appreciate it. Place a parachute on the booster so you'll get money back when it lands. How the hell do you do that? I don't think you can do that. The reason is is that I think with the booster, once we decouple from it, the booster, well actually no, the booster might not be too high. How do you, how would we control that? How would we know where the booster is? I'm fine to just let the booster crash, I think. Get my parents on stream? Well, they're not going to be here, guys. I'm meeting them elsewhere. My parents don't live in the UK, no. They live in Canada still. They're coming over to the UK because we don't want to fly all the way to Canada with kids. It's too far. You should keep it aerodynamically symmetrical. It, it kind of is, though, right now, isn't it? Like, this is, this is probably fine for what we're trying to do, right? I think that this will be fine. Okay, and then we can get Jeb, we can get Jeb to like do some more science when we're like further up, right? It should be fine. So this is the, um, this is like the, um, medium riceroni. The medium riceroni one. This one was bigger. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, let's get... Does this just save? Like, do I have to... Let's save it, okay, and then let's leave so that we can go to mission control and take the thing that we want, right? No, I haven't accepted the thing yet. I'm going to do it right now. Escape the atmosphere. Okay, we have to get a, we have to get the hey, this thing up to 70,000 meters. Got inspired by your Skyrim streams and put another 100 hours into the game. Fuck. Then I started my own channel where I read books <laughs> from Elder Scrolls. Nice. Thank you for being awesome. Love ya. Thanks, Grebol. Thanks so much, man. Okay. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna try to escape the atmosphere with, with one I don't think it's gonna be enough, but we'll try it out anyway, right? So we're gonna use that and then we're gonna decouple and then we're gonna parachute back down after it's all done. Do you think we need more than one? 
No. That's what I'm using already. Fuel tanks assure the hammer. Fuel tanks assure the hammer to go to space. Oh, we need fuel tanks. Fuel tanks. This, these are both liquid fuel tanks, though, right? And these are these are these are solid fuel. We don't have any solid fuel tanks left yet. Sorry. There's a test mission for the booster that I'm using. Oh, is there? Okay. Hang on. Let's let's grab that one too. We'll do a two for one. Haul the flea. Ha okay. Test the RT10 hammer solid fuel booster at the launch site. All that we have to do is test the RT-10 hammer solid fuel booster at the launch site in Kerbin. Perfect. Okay, we've maxed out on contracts. All right, we're gonna send Jeb up in this thing again. Okay, he's gonna be he's gonna be the man. He's got some XP already. Jeb, you're the pilot. Get in. Okay, and let's let's launch. Let's see if let's see how high this thing goes. It, at the very least, we'll we'll at least just test it, right? And we'll get the thing. It should be fine. Just get the final mission and do it all in one launch. That's a great idea. I should. Wow. The new launch platform is great, isn't it? It looks so much better. Does this does this stuff ever? Do you ever see this stuff work? Like, does it ever push like your gigantic rocket onto the thing, or does it always just appear here straight away? Okay. So we have two we have two contracts. We have to test this hammer solid fuel booster plus we have to escape the atmosphere. We have to breach the atmosphere by flying a vessel to an altitude of 70,000 meters to achieve this goal. All right, let's turn on this SAS thing and hopefully it's not going to just like go crazy and fly all over the damn place and um, and then we should be good to go. Are you guys ready? No? Maybe? Brave Jeb. Yeah, everybody pray for Jeb. I think he'll be fine though. All right, let's go. We've launched. We're going higher than we've ever been before. Hopefully. The rocket is really heating up big time. I don't see that this is going to get us as high as we need to go. We're only at like five, 6,000 meters and we're almost out of fuel. We might need more boosters. Although, having said that, holy crap, look at this. Okay, let's take a temperature reading. Let's take a pressure reading as well. That's a lot of science. Let's get the goo open. Good. That's a lot of science. Um, okay, we made it to, what, 35,000 meters? And climbing? God, we, we really flew high up this wall. Look, there's the Death Star. Holy shit, it's right there. We're, we're heading right to it. All right, well, we tested the hammer solid fuel booster, but I don't think we're going to make it to... seven. Well, we might make it to 70,000, actually. We're still climbing. We might just do it. We're, we're, we're still going pretty fast, too. Our speed is dropping a little bit. It might just make it, right? Maybe? Crew report. Oh, yeah, shit. We want to do a crew report as well. Let's see how this guy is doing. Let's do a crew report. Okay, let's keep this experiment as well. <gasps> Guys, I think we're gonna do it. We're going fast enough. We're gonna we're gonna get it. Just though, just. Fantastic. That's fantastic. We've escaped the atmosphere. We're up in space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of Jeb. May he forever rip in peace. Do we want to decouple? Yes, we do. Okay. Decoupling has worked. The solid booster is flying back down to Earth now. Okay, let's 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 get stuck in space now, I think. Are we gonna head back down? No, we're not, look. We're going to start descending soon. We're going to land in the water by the looks of things. Kind of far away. Good job, Jeb. You done it, baby. You did it. 
You did the double whammy. We got two. Okay, let's let's re-enter like this. We don't have a heat shield. But we've taken a lot of readings. Maybe we should have taken the readings up here instead. We did some like... Maybe we did like some premature readings. Pause. Look at Jeb is loving it. Look at his face. I can't believe it. We cannot dis disembark while off of curb and surface because we need an astronaut complex upgrade required. Okay. We'll do that next time with the medium rice aroni one. That worked out really good actually. This has probably been the smoothest experience I've had playing this game. Do them again if you survive. You can quickly do an EVA report. No, I can't at all actually. I didn't upgrade my thing. Can I do an EVA report though? Okay, do not want to deploy the chute at this point though, right? We have to get back through like the atmosphere and probably burn up and die and then we have to like get to a safe like part to do it, right? Oh, I could do an EVA once we splashed out of the water. Oh yeah, okay, that's a good point. I'll do that. We need to get to different biomes on Kerbin as well to do science, right? We should just be able to do that by like changing. Um, we can just like, instead of just flying straight up, we can just fly like towards somewhere, right? And then try to like splash down like in, in the Arctic or something. No? Do the goo report. I've done it already. I already did the goo report. Okay. It's not safe to deploy the chute right now. But pretty soon it will be safe to deploy the chute. It's because it's red here, right? That means that don't do it. You have to wait until it's not red. And then you can deploy it. it. I think it like becomes not red at around like, is it like after 20,000 meters or something? Oh, look, we've got some heat here. We've got some high heat. Uh oh, guys, I don't know if I can do the shoot. Is it too late to do the shoot? Oh, no, we did it. Okay, let's deploy the chute. Chute deployed. This was a good one. This, this was like, this was like getting to space 101, wasn't it? So smooth. We did everything right. Oh shit, hang on. There's a little bit of tension on the chute. Maybe we deployed it too early. He's gonna land in the water. Jeb lives. You're so you, you're so glad that you bet no. Am I surprising you guys with my ability to play this video game? It's only gonna get worse from here though. This is all the easy stuff, right? Once we start getting, once we have to make an airplane and get science that way and stuff, forget it. We're fucked. It's gonna be all over the damn place. What's with this wind? Okay. As soon as once Jeb's landed, we're gonna get him out. And we're gonna, he's gonna go for a little swim. He's gonna do an EVA report. Why is this thing like? Why is it going so slow? Why is it going so fucking slow? Holy shit. We're at like four warp and it's still like taking forever. It's really windy. Oh, we have to disable the SAS. Is that why? I mean, we're still going pretty slow though. All right, Jeb. He's waiting for touchdown. It's, it's perpetual flight. Cause it's a parachute. Oh, I see. Cut the chute. No, I will not. I will not cut the chute. Do you think it's safe to, oh no, we can't. I was gonna say, do you think it's safe to, to get him out here now? But it's not. We have to land. Holy shit. Out you come, baby! Nice! Okay, don't, don't go too much in the water, but... Okay, let's do an EVA report from the water. Keep experiment. Nice. Okay. Good. Get back in. He's back in. We've lost communication. No! He's back. Perfect. Okay, let's recover the vessel and see how we did. 
Fuck, man, this is so good, isn't it? Holy shit, we're actually doing stuff. We earned 42.7 science from that one. 61 science we're back up to. Oh, holy shit, that's nuts. Okay, and our funds are up to 224,559. We got some funds back from the recovered parts. Great. Good. No XP for Jeb, though. But our reputation is up to 55 now because we broke a whole bunch of milestones. Fuck, that's awesome. Okay, Astronaut Complex, let's upgrade it now so that we can do an EVA. Oh! They, on... Kerbal, Kerbals on EVA can place flags now as well. That's good. Okay, let's upgrade this bad boy. So that we can do an EVA in space before we land and take a reading. No? It double returns, I know. We did two at once and it fucking paid off big time. Really nice. I'm happy with that. No? <laughs> the Hogan Space Program. <coughs> we should have called it that. God, I've, I'm just like so full of regret now. Fuck. We could have called it the Hogan Space Program. Maybe we should have actually. Okay, tracking station? I don't think we need to use the tracking station until we have like a sat... We, we're going to need to send a satellite up into space at some point as well. Which is going to be tricky. But pretty fucking awesome as well. I can't wait for that. No. Too much vape? That was, it was the laugh while vaping. Okay. Good. We've done it. All right, let's go to R&D and see what we can afford. With 61, we can do advanced rocketry, general construction. What's this going to give us? A crew cabin, a strut connector, a new decoupler, a structural fuselage, a Rocco Max brand adapter. What the hell does this thing do? I don't even know. And a TT-18A launch stability enhancer. Oof, that's pretty good. That's pretty neat. Okay, flight control will give us some fins and a reaction wheel, which I don't know what it does. And basic science is going to give us like battery packs, a science lab, an experiment storage unit, a radiator panel, another radiator panel, a radially attachable radiator panel to help dissipate heat into space. And an HG5 high gain antenna. A short range dual purpose communications antenna that can handle either direct communications or short range relays. And then advanced rocketry will give me the Terrier liquid fuel engine, uh, the Mark 55 Thud liquid fuel engine, which looks kind of cool actually, and the FLT400 fuel tank, which is also a liquid fuel tank. Which one do you think that we should go for? guys any recommendations no reaction wheel is sas beeline the fueling one i'm a real scient scientist now yes this is true i am actually you're right brand adapters for branding deals oh i see science or engine science science you guys think science so that wait if we invest in science then we just gain more science right do I need to be looking like all the way down here to see like what this leads to? Experimental electrics, specialized electrics, high power electrics, advanced electrics, precision engineering, unmanned tech. Oof, that sounds cool actually. Unmanned tech, I like that. Does that, is, does that mean like satellites and stuff? Scanning tech, advanced exploration. A mobile processing lab, a Kellis mobility enhancer. The fuck? Miniaturization? What's all this crap? Stack separator, an adapter, another adapter, a Clampotron docking port junior. Oh shit, yeah, okay. All right, let's go for science then. Nice. Okay, good. Great. Okay, mission control. What do we need to do next? Conduct a focus observational survey. Conduct a focus temperature survey. Measure the temperature in flight below 17,700 meters near zone 6B8. All these ones where it's like go to a specific place on Kerbin, I think we need like a plane for. I think we need like a, a, a plane that we can just fly around, which I'm not quite ready to do yet. No.
Zodes are hard as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you need planes to do them. I, I kind of figured that we'd have to, yeah. Um, we could haul the RT-5 Flea Solid Booster into Flight Above Kerbin. We'd need to be um, between 13,000 to 20,000 meters. Going at uh, a fast speed as well. Um, we can haul the Mark 16 parachute into Flight Above Kerbin. This one is pretty much the same one that we already did, isn't it? 